Hi, I'm Nathan Increpera, head football coach at St. Stanislaus College. Last week, the Rocks finished their regular season with a loss at the hands of Jeff Davis, 54-20. Looking back on our season, we've had our share of ups and downs. Uh, we were slowed early by some COVID issues. Uh, I think the team has really developed an identity on offense. I think the offensive line has gelled uh, the way they needed to at times. I think that's, that's a work in progress. Davian Lagarde has established himself as, I think, one of the best running backs in the state. On the defensive side of the ball, we've had a group of young guys uh, on the defensive line that have played at a really, really high level. At times, we've had six sophomores on the starting defensive uh, lineup, so it's a group that's really come together that started to figure out how to play defensive football. Uh, it's a group that I look forward to seeing uh, not only in the, in the playoffs this year, but in the years to come. You know, one of the brightest spots on the team this year has been freshman Evan Noel. Evan's taken over kicking duties for us this year as a place kicker and punter. Uh, he has over a 37-yard average in punting. Uh, 14 of his 31 punts have been, ended up inside the opponent's 20-yard line. Uh, he's 5 of 8 for field goals. Uh, three of those field goals are over 40 yards, including a 50-yarder last week against Jeff Davis. Uh, as far as I know, that's the longest one in the state this year. You know, as a head coach, our mantra has always been to try to be the best team that you can be in Week 10, and that it, it, the, the football season is, is a working progress. And, uh, when we show up every Sunday, we're 0-0, and we take that mentality that uh, each week we're going to try to uh, become a better football team uh, so that by the end of the season, we're the best football team that we can put on the field. Uh, this week, the Rocks will face a very talented Morton football team out of Morton, Mississippi. Uh, they have a very good running back. Uh, the quarterback is a freshman, but he's thrown for over 1,500 yards. Three of their receivers are in the top 10 in receiving yards uh, for 3A football. Uh, their defensive front is fast and physical. We're looking forward to the challenge that Morton's going to present us. We look to get our first road playoff victory since 2017. We hope to see you Friday night at Morton High School, 7 o'clock. See you there.